Rick Nest strikes gold with a staggering $4 million season hope. Keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video. So let's start the latest update in the midst of season 14. Rick NES, the indomitable mind boss, is once again making history as he mines his way to a record-breaking million season in the volatile world of gold mining, where fortunes rise and fall like the undulating Klondike terrain, one man has emerged as a resilient force to be reckoned with Rick Neist, started his journey in season 9 when he left the shadow of his former boss, Parrish Noble, to lead his own crew undeterred by the challenges that lay ahead NES proved himself to be a formidable force, Extracting a commendable 1-115-0 of gold in his debut Sioux season a testament to his grit and determination, however it was in season 11 that he truly hit his stride, overcoming setbacks to clear staggering 2 million in gold meaning a remarkable 108 of the season marked a turning point for NES as he acknowledged the steep learning curve of being a mind boss. Undeterred by previous obstacles, Rick NES set a lofty goal of 2000 in season 12, which seemed unachievable given that he started the season without a full crew. Nevertheless, NES ramped up his operation and used massive half million equipment, and against all odds, he succeeded in mining an impressive 247. However, the story took an unexpected turn in season 13 when Rick NES, struggling with seasonal depression and person personal issues, decided to leave the show leaving fans to wonder about his future in the gold field, Rich Wilderness has triumphantly returned to the realm of gold exploitation and recovery in season 14, having taken a courageous and risky step to finance the revival of his mining business by selling his mother's house, start a venture with a small initial investment. As the current season progresses, NES put together a makeshift operation with used gear and unwavering resolve to get back in the game halfway through season 14. Spectators are enthralled by Nessa's perseverance and the drama that is developing around his search for gold. He has already accumulated an incredible 46, 2, 1, 2, 1 suggesting that he may reach the set in 1,000 to 2,000 mark by the end of the season. The transformation of Rickmas from an apprentice miner to a season mining manager is very amazing. While breaking even in season 10 may not have been the enormous haul, he planned for it to demonstrate his resiliency in the face of difficulties in season 11. Moreover, the facts that he accomplished a noteworthy milestone of 115 in his first solo season is a credit to his devotion and hard effort the $2 million in gold that NES and his team recovered demonstrated their resilience in the face of adversity having experienced the ups and downs of leading. A mining team H improved over time, eventually reaching an impressive 1080, the pinnacle of NES career came in season 12 when he set an ambitious goal of 2000 by overcoming obstacles and using heavy-duty equipment. He not only met the goal, but exceeded it by mining an incredible 2047 and sis the highest during season 13 due to personal reasons, demonstrates Rickens status as a force to be reckoned within the gold mining sector cemented by this success. The human side of Rick NES that is impressive comeback in season 14 when he even sold his mother's house to finance his venture shows how committed he is to the gold mining industry. 462-12-10 in season 14's first half suggests that NES is well on his way to once again exceeding his own expectations as he continues to navigate the challenges of the conduct Rick NES story continues to be an inspiring example of the perseverance, determination, and constant learning that characterize a true gold miner. His accomplishments not only speak to his press in the field, but they also serve as a testament to his resilience. As a devoted gold rush spectator, I have witnessed Rick Nesbitt's journey, which is X. A tale of success created of passion and guts his perseverance in the face of hardship and resolve to forge his own way in the uncertain world of gold. 
mining have left an enduring Mark Rick. Ness's journey from an inexperienced miner learning from Parker Snobble to a mind manager leading his own team is evidence of his perseverance. What most impresses me is his capacity for growth and adaptation, which is demonstrated by each season's development, his decision to step away during season 13 to deal with personal issues humanizes his journey and serves as a reminder that even the toughest people face trials, the setbacks faced in season 10, the triumphant success in season 11, and the audacious goal achieved in season 12, showcase a man who not only embraces challenges but conquers them seeing Rick Nieses mine his way to a record-breaking Bold Mine in Season 14 highlights his daring return, which was accompanied by a major personal sacrifice and also highlights his enthusiasm for gold, mining, and drive to regain his former glory raking the $2 million mark in. Season 14 is a testimonial to his unwavering spirit in the pursuit of achievement and feels like supporting an old friend. Another update, Rick Ness of Gold Rush, alludes to Team Rally Season 14 final of Dangerous in Gold Rush Season 14, Rick. NES has come back to look for forgiveness, but NES, who recently got engaged, has given viewers of the Discovery series a hint as to what they may anticipate. He discusses the largest challenge they encounter in the reality series about gold mining. Here's what's new on Rick's They Gamble Pretty Dangerous as revealed by Rick NES Gold. Rush Season 14 final Rick NES was risking everything when he came back to Gold Rush with the money he received from the sale of his mother's house. He assembled a crew and organized a mining season, but this was not a place where he was ready to take a compete gamble. He is a dement that Rally Valley holds the secret to his mining Prosperity, I don't think we have the luxury of hitting our goal and having. The last week, says Gravy, he said in an interview with TV Insider, he disclosed that Mother Nature is their main problem. He disclosed that things used to get dangerous when they worked in this potentially valuable cut in the past NES. Seems to be going to have to make a, a difficult choice between the freezing and other weather-related concerns by season's conclusion things get fairly hazardous eventually the decision must be made to pull everyone out because it is no longer worthwhile the most recent post by rick nes seems to indicate his return for bold rush season 15 rick nest posted two pieces of news on instagram a few days ago first the news of the gold rush he was returning to the yukon to mine gold for longer thus it appears that he achieved his season-long target of 1,000 pounds. Does this reveal feel anything about the pot? Not really too much has happened to this discovery series to not anticipate Nessa's return naturally. Rick's announcement that he was once more engaged to his ex fiance Lise Mai set off a social media storm. I'm almost done backing up everything I have in Brookfield and this weather is reminding me why I'm leaving he revealed I am eager to return to Arizona and see the woman in this photo who will eventually go by the name Mrs. NES. The biggest surprise here should be just how early Rick NES is it would be March before he traveled up to the Yukon for his redemption season. Tony and Parker had been there for weeks by that point does. This imply that Rick is becoming more serious about his mining career. It appears to be at least thanks for watching mine.